Bushi Road President uh, Taka- uh, Takaki Kidani and New Japan President Kami Obari uh, had this press conference. Uh, it's been a bizarre public feud uh, for those of you who've been paying attention between the two sides. Two and a half weeks ago, Ibushi tweeted a message exchange between he and New Japan official Yasuki Kikuchi. Just remember that name, uh, Kikuchi, about Ibushi appearing at Taka Mikinoshu's Just Tap Out event in March. The comments Ibushi tweeted included New Japan's handling of his shoulder injury last October, where he felt pressure to perform, and Kikuchi suggestively asking if Ibushi wanted his release. Obari explained that New Japan's uh, side of the events at this press conference, and the full transcript of this is up on New Japan's website. It's linked through WrestlingObserver.com. If you go up there, too, I'm going to give you... An abbreviated version of it, as much as I can, because I'm not going to spend the entire hour on the thing, but goes like this. Kota Obushi is a wrestler exclusively contracted to New Japan Pro Wrestling. As such, it is understood that in order to devote full attention to New Japan matches and associated events, he is required to inform and receive express permission from New Japan before outside appearances. On March 4th, in breach of the terms of his contract, Mr. Obushi made an appearance seconding wrestlers at a Just Tap Out event. Kikuchi is responsible for contacting various wrestlers contracted to New Japan but he also has a long personal history with Mr. Ibushi that extends far more uh, that extends far before him becoming exclusively contracted talent. Kikuchi contracted Mr. Obushi in the belief that Mr. Obushi's actions in breach of his contract were taken deliberately to persuade New Japan to terminate his agreement with him. Perceiving this as a betrayal of personal trust established over a number of years between Kikuchi and Ibushi, Kikuchi's messages were sent in an emotional state as a result. Not wanting to lose the services of Kota Ibushi in such a manner and wanting to find out his true mental state and opinions on this matter... I arranged a meeting with Mr. Obushi at his personal training facility on May on March 31st. Abari then would talk about the two working out together, how Obushi had said his shoulder is not where he needs it to be to perform, and how impressed he was with Obushi as an athlete. And this is where Obari also determined that Obushi, by appearing on the Just Tap Out show, was not going to be in breach of his contract and only received a reprimand. Obari then went on to say, at the point of our meeting, I did not know the exact wording or particulars of Mr. Ibushi's text conversation with Kikuchi, and as a result, did not offer a proper apology for the content of the conversation. Several weeks later, on May 10th, screenshots of the conversation were made public. I have since learned that those tweets were made when Mr. Obushi was acting in a state of concern for his mother, with mental distress being caused by this situation. Mr. Obushi told me that after discussing the details of the situation with his mother on May 8th, she attempted suicide on May 9th and suffered a broken bone in her back as a result. A meeting was held on May 10th, including our company's legal staff, in order to understand the particulars of the situation and to determine the best possible course of action for both New Japan Pro Wrestling and Mr. Ibushi. We determined that the said best course of action would be to directly meet with Mr. Ibushi to formally apologize and hear one another's opinions before making a public announcement should one be deemed necessary. At that point, Obari closed by saying that he and Kidani were able to meet with Ibushi and said that both Ibushi and Kikuchi would be reprimanded but remain with the company, and he apologized to the fans for their concerns. Sounds good? Not all of it was in the moment, because not long after the press conference ended, Kota Ibushi tweeted that he was upset over the fact that the company initially glossed over the situation with his mother, which was the whole reason he began tweeting about all of this in the first place. So they had to go back and amend the statement that I just read. So... I am sure Dave Meltzer is going to have more on this in the next show that he does with Brian. He writes about it in this week's newsletter, although obviously not this information, which came out after deadline today. New Japan, uh, very apologetic, and obviously the olive branch to Kota Obushi has been handed 
Apparently it was yesterday with the meeting with uh, with Obari. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. This is a very important story because of the stardom that Kota Ibushi has over in Japan, his run with New Japan, his contract with them, and then also his relationship in the States with Kenny Omega and how this could play into a New Japan AEW relationship. There's all those professional things, as well as the fact that this has caused great mental stress on Kota Ibushi, and he may not be in the best of uh, mental states right now for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is his mother. Uh, Dave Meltzer talked about on Wrestling Observer Radio not all that long ago about the fact that when you are an athlete at the level of Kota Ibushi, when you are not able to train and you look at Kota Ibushi, a guy who looks like he is carved out of stone, you know the type of, of, of care he takes of his body, uh, how he feels it's got to be driving him nuts and the fact that could that abushi is a character anyway and is quite the unique personality you know i i my biggest concern is his mental state right now because again this this whole situation with his mother is just it, it is a, a a sad situation but we'll have to see what what happens going forward here a good sign, at least from a public relations point of view, in my opinion, from New Japan to come out, have this conversation after having a conversation with Kota Ibushi, and to make sure that the public knows that New Japan Pro Wrestling values the services and the mental health of Kota Ibushi. So, well, just have to see what happens. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.